In this video we're going to be downloading WLED onto an ESP8266 based WeMOS D1 Mini. So first off we will download WLED. And we're going to go down to the section here called releases. And there's several different releases, and we're going to click on the top one here. And we will download this full version to our uh, computer. C colon temp WLED, that's a good place to put it. And next I'm going to be downloading a Python Flasher binary. Download node MCU Pi Flasher. That's one. There it is. So we could have gone up, gone into releases, but we're there. So we are going to download our version for Windows 10. Okay, now that we've got both of those, let's run node mcu pyflasher. In the meantime, I'll be plugging my WeMOS D1 Mini into my computer. And I'll just show it right here on COM5 since I've already plugged it in. binary. Use the default speed, whatever that is. We're going to wipe all the data and we will now flash it. And I'll have a copy while I'm waiting. So what I've done also is I've connected the um, 5 volt of the uh, WS2812s to 5 volt on the WeMOS D1 Mini, ground to ground, and the data pin on the uh, RGB uh, LED strip goes to pin D4 on the WeMOS D1 Mini. Okay. That's all complete. Now, once you've done all that, you would cycle the power on the WeMOS D1 Mini, and then with your Android or iPhone, you could connect to a Wi-Fi name of WLED-AP, and you would connect to that with a password in lowercase WLED1234. And from there, you should automatically be directed to the WLED control panel. 